Christmas Countdown by Frank Kelly for Mike and Anne. Day one, my dear true love. Thank you very much for your lovely present of a partridge in a pear tree. We're getting the hang of feeding the partridge now, although it was difficult at first to win its confidence. It bit the mother rather badly on the hand, but they're good friends again now, and we're keeping the pear tree indoors in a bucket. Thank you again. Yours affectionately. Day two. Dear true love, I cannot tell you how surprised we were to hear from you again so soon and to receive your lovely present of two turtle doves. You really are too kind. At first, the partridge was kind of jealous and suspicious of the doves and they had a terrible row the night the doves arrived. We had to send for the vet. But the birds are okay again and the stitches are due to come out in a week or two. The vet's bill was eight pounds, but the mother is over her annoyance now. And the, the doves and the partridge are watching the telly from the pear tree as I write. Yours ever. Day three. Dear true love, we must be foremost in your thoughts. I had only posted my letter when the three French hens arrived. There was another sort out between the hens and the doves who sided with the partridge and the vet had to be sent for again. The mother was raging because the bill was 16 pounds this time, but she's almost cooled down. However, the fact that the bird's droppings keep falling down on her hair when she's watching the telly doesn't help matters. Thank you for your kindness. I remain yours. Day four. Dearest, you mustn't have received my last letter when you were sending us the four calling birds. There was pandemonium in the pear tree again and the vet's bill last night was £32. The mother is on sedation as I write. I know you meant no harm and remain your close friend. Day five. Darling, your generosity knows no bounds. Five gold rings. When the parcel arrived, I was scared stiff that it might be more birds because the smell of the living room is atrocious. However, I don't want to seem ungrateful for the beautiful rings, your affectionate friend. Day six. What are you trying to do to us? It isn't that we don't appreciate your generosity, but the six geese have not alone nearly murdered the calling birds but they laid their eggs on top of the vet's head from the pear tree and his bill was £68 in cash. My mother is munching 60 grains of Valium a day and talking to herself in a most alarming way. You must keep your feelings for me in check. Day 7. We are not amused by your little joke. Seven swans are swimming is a most romantic idea but not in the bath of a private house. We cannot use the bathroom now because they've gone completely savage and they rush the door every time we try to enter. If things go on this way, the mother and I will smell as bad as a living room carpet. Please lay off, it's not fair. Day eight. Dear Lord, who the hell do you think gave you the right to send eight Hefty maids are milking here to eat us out of house and home. Their cattle are all over the front lawn and have trampled the hell out of the mother's rose beds. The swans invaded the living room in a sneak attack and the ensuring battle between them and the calling birds, turtle doves, French hens and partridge make the battle of the Somme seem like wanderly wagon. The mother is on a bottle of whiskey a day as well as the 60 grains of Valium. I am very annoyed with you. Day nine. Listen, you loser. There's enough pandemonium in the place night and day without nine ladies dancing with the eight flaming maids of milking and beating my poor old alcoholic mother out of her own kitchen and gobbling everything in sight. I'm warning you, you're making an enemy of me. Day 10. Listen, manure face. I hope you'll be haunted by the strains of ten pipers piping which you sent us to torment us last night. 
They were aided in their evil work by those, by those maniac dancers. It was not a pleasant sight to look out of the window and see eight hefty maids a milking, milking pogoing around with the ensuing punk rock uproar. My mother has just finished her third bottle of whiskey on top of 124 grains of Valium. You'll get yours. Day 11. You have scandalised my mother, you dirty Jezebel. It was bad enough having eight maids a-milking dancing to punk music on the front lawn, but now they've been joined by your friends, the eleven lords a-leaping, and the antics of the whole lot of them would leave the most decadent days of the Roman Empire looking like Outlook. I'll get you, you loud bag. Day 12. Listen, slurry head. You have ruined our lives. The twelve's drum twelve drummers drumming turned up last night and beat the living daylight out of the eleven lords a-leaping because they found them carrying on with the eight maids a-milking. Meanwhile, the swans got out of the living room where they've been hiding since the big battle and savaged the hell out of the lords and all the maids. There were eight ambulances here last night and the local civil, civil defence as well. The mother is in a home for the bewildered and I'm sitting here up to my neck in bird's droppings, empty whiskey and valium bottles, bird's blood and feathers, while the flaming cows eat the leaves off the pear tree. I'm a broken woman. <laughs>